one challenge that we have with managing food waste or vegetable waste is its very high moisture content. When we're hauling this material, we're hauling 80 to 90 percent water. And if we're trying to compost this material, we need to add between two and four times the volume as bulking agent to get the moisture content down to about 60 percent. Reducing the moisture content of our composting mix that includes the food waste and the vegetable waste is really important for two reasons. Firstly, that the potential for odor from the compost process dramatically increases with moisture contents higher than 60%. Secondly, with moisture contents higher than 60%, we're likely to generate a significant amount of leachate and leachate can enter into and harm the environment and the leachate also has a high propensity for odor. What this all means when we have to add so much dry bulking agent to our food waste or vegetable waste is that the volume of composting material dramatically increases and that it increases the capital and operating cost of the compost facility, particularly when we're responsible to control odor and to minimize the amount of leachate entering the environment. So we're always looking for better ways to process our food waste or our vegetable waste. Here on my left, we have a 200 liter insulated box that I call our magic box. On my right, we have 420 liters of vegetable waste at a moisture content of 87%. And we're going to compost this all in this 200 liter box in a period of five weeks. It doesn't even fit in the box. There's 420 liters of vegetable waste. And we're going to add about 120 liters of bulking agent. But that's not enough. There's two ways that we can make this work. Firstly, we grind the material to reduce the volume and to make it compost faster. Secondly, we add the material slowly in the compost process so as the material dries we can simply add more. At the end of it all we have a compost that's about 55 percent moisture content and is very stable. The process produces minimal odor and no leachate because we can manage the moisture content and the aeration rate. There are three things to be learned from this process. Number one we can compost food waste and vegetable waste with high moisture contents very successfully in small composting units. Secondly, we can use this principle of composting and moisture evaporation on a larger scale to reduce the overall operating and capital cost of some of our food waste and vegetable waste management. Thirdly, because there's no energy input into the compost process, we have significant greenhouse gas saving. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.